Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Ben and today I tell you the secret about the best settings to increase graphics quality for your Quest 2 when connected to PC via cable. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date, come find me on my Facebook page Advanced VR Fair and buy your favorite games on Instant Gaming following the link in the description to support the channel, thank you. With the V23 update, Oculus added the chance to select the resolution and refresh rate for your headset. To do that, just open the Oculus app on your PC, click on your device, check the option on the right and go to the graphics settings. Default values are set to 72Hz and automatic graphics selection that change according to your PC specifics. Know that editing these settings you may experience slowdown and shuttering, especially if your PC is not powerful enough. If your build meets the suggested requirements, connect the Quest 2 to your PC and set the 90Hz. Turn off the switch at automatic graphics selection and move the cursor on a value between 1.3 and 1.5 maximum value. Over this value the requirements will be more demanding and your PC will be stressed much more. Click on save and restart and do a couple of tests to check which value give you the best performance in game and if your PC can handle the 1.5 maximum suggested value. Otherwise select a lower value and keep in mind that after every edit you must restart the Oculus app. Anyway, these settings do not exploit the full potential of your Quest 2 because you will always see the effect of recompression due to the cable connection and the low bit rate as a kind of distant fog that affects overall the distant object and view. So, after choosing your best values on Oculus app, keeping in mind to not overcome the suggested maximum value of 1.5 Keep the app open and go into the Oculus installation folder, usually you find in C programs, and enter into the directory Oculus support, so enter into the folder Oculus Diagnostic. Here you will find an exit file named Oculus Debug Tool. Run it as admin and in this table be sure you edit only the values suggested in this video and only in the way shown here. If you do some mistakes, you could seriously compromise the well-functioning of your headset and also your PC. The first parameter you have to edit is the pixel per display arrangement. This will, let's say, increase the value of pixel per display, making the details and the edges of the single elements much better and defined. I strongly suggest to set this value between 1.2 and 1.5 only if you have a strong PC. Just know that at 1.5 your GPU is already working at nearly 2 of its maximum load. This means that this parameter heavily affects the work of GPUs, even for the most recent and performing. You can also let this parameter to zero if you don't want to stress your GPU too much. The most important parameter to edit are these two, the encode resolution width to set between 1000 and 4000 and the encode bitrate to set between 150 and 500. This last parameter tells which bitrate the image must be sent to the headset. For the best quality of course you can set 500 but this will require a higher load on GPU. Anyway I suggest to set this value 350. With this value, the effect of the recompression will be totally imperceptible. For the encode resolution, we need to do a different speech. This value should be set at the same resolution you set on the Oculus app, so it changes according on what you set. In this case, you must set it to 2448, the resolution equivalent to the value 1.5 on the Oculus app. After you set all the values to make the change effective, click on the service menu, so click on restart Oculus service and this will restart the Oculus app with the new settings. Now you don't have nothing else to do than enjoy your games with the best graphics your headset can show you and remember to keep the debug tool open during your game. Also remember that the resolution width and bitrate settings are saved every time but the pixel per display arrangement will be reset to zero every time you close the debug tool, so you need to set again the value every time before to play. Last thing, these changes on the back tool also affect the Rift S, but the only difference is the resolution width, which must be set always to 1440. 
Well, let me know if this worked for you, if you see some difference in the graphics. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. From that it's all, see ya in the next one, see ya in VR. Ciao ragazzi.